Hello all, and welcome to the FlyX Top 5 Add-ons of 2016. Uh, yes, this is an end-of-year video where I'll be telling you um, what, in my opinion, are the top 5 add-ons that have come out this year. Uh, a couple of ground rules, obviously the add-ons have to have come out this year, um, and I also have to own them. Um, which is interesting, because I was going to put the FS Labs on this list, um, but I don't yet have it, because it's not for P3D yet. Um, so yeah, the, that 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 might be on next year's list. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. In at number five, we have Amsterdam Schiphol by Fly Tampa. Uh, yes, this is a very recent release actually, um, and it, it's modelled beautifully. It's um, it's Eham Amsterdam Schiphol Airport, um, and it's been long awaited. Everyone's been waiting for it for ages. Uh, Aerosoft made a copy ages ago, I think. Um, but it, it doesn't run brilliantly, especially on P3D. Um, and for Fly Tampa to do um, to do one is just amazing, and they've done such an amazing job as they always do. Fly Tampa are really one of these um, golden add-on developers. All their products tend to be good, um, and it, 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 uh, Fly Tampa Amsterdam certainly is up there with Copenhagen and Dubai. Um, I think I think it's done well. Uh, the surrounding area, they've modelled the surrounding area uh, beautifully. I, I really do like that. It's, I, I flew in there um, at about five in the morning just as the sun was coming up. And oh, it was so I was I just came below the clouds and could see all the uh, snow covered fields, which I'll get onto in a minute. Um, and it's so, so, so immersive. Um, that, and, and this is one of those things that I really do look for in a flight to Madeline, as you'll see from the rest of this list. Um, it, it's it's really it, it, it is a really good add-on. Um, so yeah, the snow textures I I've got a soft spot in my heart for snow textures. I I really do like. I think snow looks incredibly pretty, and I um, really do like it when add-on developers make their scenery and um, have snow textures. I mean, only if it's a place that has snow. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so so then it's just general high quality. It's just really really good. In at number four, we have um, actually two things. Um, it's quite a strange choice there. I, I wasn't expecting these to be on the list, but they are. Um, and they're sort of two things that link to each other. And it's PTA, which is Prepared to Tweak Assistant, and the Ultimate Realism Pack. Um, and what they are, the PTA is um, a thing that allows you to tweak uh, P3D um, in a, a really sort of in-depth way um, that you can't really do with the config file. And the Ultimate Realism Pack is some presets for it, uh, and some sky textures and a uh, sun texture, I think. Um, and combined, they just make everything so nice. Um, PTA on its own, I think it was developed by a guy called uh, Predrag, um, who's quite well known in the Flightsman community. Um, and, and he's done an amazing job at it. Uh, you, you can change so much and you can fix so many of those problems. And one, one thing I really do like about it is you can make... Uh, there's an option to make it sort of properly dark outside. So, like, normally, um, certainly in FSX and in P3D, I noticed it as well. Um, you even, even at night, you can sort of still see the ground and clouds a bit. It's not like that in real life, you, unless, well, unless you can see the lights. Um, it, you can just see pitch black out the windows. Um, and, they, they've, and it's enabled that, which is a really, really nice thing for me. Um... Oh, and that can have Ultimate Realism Pack, which gives you the uh, amazing sky textures. Um, I really do like sky textures in that. Um, and it, it's just they, they've done, they've done it so well. It's it's and it's completely free. It's <laughs> it's you can you can go if you have P3D, you can go download it, install it now. Well, it's P3D from version three point two or something up. Uh, I may get facts wrong in this video. This is a sort of opinions video, but all the links to the stuff will be down in the description below, so you can go see them. Um, and yeah, I'm just really pleased with that, and it's completely free. I, I do like it when there's good freeware out of, out there. Um, it's a bit few and far between, especially for P3D, but sometimes you do come across some good freeware. At number three, we have Chase Plane by FSFX Packages, which is um, an impossible name for me to pronounce <laughs> quickly. Um, but yeah, this is uh, it's this sort of Easy Doc rival that's come out, um, and I'm not meaning to be too mean to Easy Doc. Easy Doc is an old, very old product. I think I've had. I think it was like one of the first flights of add-ons I actually got. I've had like 
seven years maybe. Um, and, and it, it's old. Um, and Chase Plane has come along now, and it it, it just blows Easy Dock out of the water. And it, it's only an alpha actually. Um, so there's a few bugs and stuff at the moment. Um, but you've got to remember it is an alpha, and I know you're only ever promised to get an alpha. You're only only ever promised to get like the copy that you've got. But um, FSFX packages, um, they're quite a good developer. They are all of their products so far have been very good, um, and they look like they're going to stick around to make many more great products um, and update Chase Plane. Um, you, do you, you, do you, it's in alpha at the moment, but it's like an open alpha. Um, I think it's like forty dollars at the moment, um, and I, and I think it's worth that. I, I I do think it is worth that, especially for the cinematic mode. It's got this cinematic mode where you can uh, just press a button or leave it for for like ten minutes, and then it automatically goes into this mode for if you're streaming or making videos or something. Um, and it sort of pans around the aircraft in really nice um, views, and that's particularly nice for streams because like if I go AFK, it'll do that, and it'll be something nice for people to look at rather than just looking at the cockpit. Um, it's got an amazing UI. Um, they they uh, F -S -F -F -S -F -X packages uh, really do know how to make a good UI. Uh, they showed that with their immersions, which are also really good. Um, and it's, it's it's quite solidly built. As I mentioned, there are a few bugs, but alpha. Um, and I I I, I do think it does. Easy Doc. Sorry to say to Easy Doc, I've <laughs> I've used Easy Doc for many years and it's served me well. Um, but it's got a little outdated, and Chase Plane has certainly filled the void. Number two. Now, this is actually two add-ons again, but they're sort of by the same developer, came out at the same time, and link into each other. And it is Active Sky 16 and Active Sky Cloud Art. And uh, you, I think you need Active Sky 16 to have Active Sky Cloud Art. So they. They bas they're basically one add-on, just there were they're two add-ons, but they like intertwined with each other. Uh, this is by Hi-Fi Simulations, and the the Active Sky 16 part is an evolution of Active Sky Next, which um, I'm sure most people use. It's it's very good weather engine, and Active Sky 16 is an excellent evolution of it. Um, they've got volumetric clouds, uh, which they hadn't 16, but they've done they've they've just done so much better in Active Sky 16. They um. They work so much better. Uh, also, uh, one of the, I think one of the best features about it is the clouds. They, they sort of break over the window. Now, as you're flying through the clouds, they sort of... It's, it's hard to explain. I'll get out there. We video on the screen of it happening. But it's there. Yeah, they, they sort of like break over the window. It's really nice. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice UI as well. They've improved the UI. Um, you, you can also... Um, I know you could do Fact Sky 16, but you can uh, Fact Sky Next. Sorry, um, you could load um, flight plans in and use that for weather planning and stuff. And it's it's just they've done it so well. Um, so yeah, that's that's definitely a uh, buy. Uh, you don't necessarily need to upgrade from Next, but I would recommend it. And I think it's a a very good upgrade. So number one. Now I thought this I thought this would be very obvious to people, um, and in fact I tweeted that out. I said I I think my number one choice will be quite obvious to people, and um, people would have guessed, but no no one's got it. No one, I I thought I've talked about this quite a lot, but thinking about it, I actually haven't really. I, I haven't spoken about it too much considering how much I like it. Um, I've made a couple of videos on it, um, but it's it's for me it was an obvious choice for first place, and it is drum roll please. The IXCG 737 Classic. Um, it, it's an X-Plane add-on, um, as you probably know. Uh, the only X-Plane add-on on, on this list, which is annoying because it means it doesn't work with any of the others, which, yeah. Um, but I, I think it deserves the number one spot. Um, it's just, it's so immersive. It's, it, I, I don't, I, it's really immersion. I, I find, I, concept, everyone understands the concept of immersion, but it's hard to explain how something's immersive. But for me, I find it's quite, it's the sounds. I think sounds really add to immersion quite a lot. And they've, they've nailed the sounds. Like when you, um, when you, when you switch over the uh, power from the APU to the engine, uh, just after you start your engines up, it, it, the sound that you get, that, that sort of click and it, oh, it's, it's hard to explain, but it's just sounds so sort of solid and 
It was really good. Um, it's yeah, they this so immersive. Um, also, it sort of opened up X Plane. There's never really been. There's been quite mm, reasonable add-ons, like the F. Uh, sorry, not FS Labs. The um, Jar Design A320 and A330. Uh, they're all right. There's um, Flight Factor make a few good add-ons. Um, but none on the scale. No, none, no add-on developers make one on the scale of the ISCG 737. It's just so solidly built and so immersive. And yeah, it, it really has enabled... It's really sort of made me use X-Plane more and get into X-Plane. Because X-Plane... People doubt X-Plane. Um, I, I was actually really nervous to make my video on X-Plane because there's so much sort of... I don't know, the FSX and PFD users can be a bit sceptical of X-Plane. Uh, but I think that's the add-ons. I, I think there is a good a good bit of sim behind X-Plane, and I think the IXDG really sort of awakens that. Um, so yeah, that's that's my number one choice. Um, remember, these were all my opinions. Um, if you disagree with me, do say so down below. Tell me your top five if you want. Um, tell me anything I missed or anything I got wrong. Um, just be polite um but yeah i think it was quite a good year for flight to mad on releases um and yes i uh, i think 2017 will be a, a good a good one too uh, looking at some of the ones that have lined up like the aerosoft a330 the quality wing 787 and the fs labs the a320 for that i've seen people use it in fsx um and i shall be getting it when it comes to p3d um, and making many videos in it. I am a big Airbus fan, um, and it will probably be in my 2017 list. Um, but yeah, until 2017, I um, I shall bid you all farewell, um, and talk to you in more videos. Bye bye.